Aditi Roy is live in San Francisco with that story. Hey, Aditi. Hey there, Carl. That's right. Nutanix closed its first trading day up 131 percent. And today, those shares are up around 9 percent. Nutanix was the first IPO to double in its first day since August of 2015, when Global Blood Therapeutics debuted. The Nutanix IPO comes during a slow year for tech IPOs, but some analysts say that could soon change. Nutanix followed Aptio, another software company, which went public last month. Its shares are up more than 36 percent since its debut last month. And Twilio, which debuted back in June, its stock has skyrocketed nearly 330 percent from its IPO price. Analysts say Nutanix success in its debut could be a harbinger of other enterprise companies going through the IPO pipeline. Some predict Q4 and Q1 of next year will be busy with tech IPOs because investors seem more willing to put their money into companies that show a path to profitability, even if they're still operating at a net loss now. A company like Snapchat would obviously get people very excited. But in the interim, I think you're going to see a lot of enterprise tech IPOs. Those are companies that people can get their heads around their financials. They understand the products. They have huge market categories they're going after. And most of them are approaching profitability by the time they're going public. Another company to watch out for is Coupa Software. It helps companies track and manage your spend, and it's scheduled to go public on Thursday. John? Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.